Hello food lovers and welcome back to the channel. Do you like spare ribs? Well, as you're watching this video, I'm guessing that you do. In this video, I will show you how to make Chinese style sticky barbecue spare ribs that taste just as good cooked in the oven as on the barbecue pit. This recipe is super easy to prepare and cook and it never fails to impress when I make it for friends and family. So in order to make these ribs, Let's begin with the list of ingredients. One kilogram of baby back ribs. I got these from my local butcher and for one kilogram of ribs, you get two racks of ribs. This is enough for two people. One small piece of ginger. This will give a wonderful aromatic scent to the ribs. Five spice powder, about one and a half teaspoons. Maple syrup, or if you don't have that in your cupboard, you can also use honey as well. Hoisin sauce. Two scallions. Shaoxing wine. Sesame oil and light soy sauce. So those were the ingredients and next we will need to prepare the ribs. The ribs that I have came as a complete rack so these will need to be cut into individual ribs and any large lumps of fat or gristle will need to be removed. Place the cut ribs into a bowl like this. Next I'm going to do something controversial and that is I'm going to wash the ribs in water. The last time that I did this in my roast duck video I received loads of comments from people exasperated that I was doing this. I believe that washing meat before cooking or marinating helps to remove the slime off it and makes it taste less gamey. Let me know what you think of this by taking a poll and leave your comments down below. Next, chop up the ginger and scallions and add them into the bowl. They don't have to look too pretty or be cut uniformly because they're just going to be used to add flavour. Then add the rest of the ingredients to make the marinade for the ribs, starting with the five spice powder. The hoisin sauce, I'm using about five or six tablespoons here. The sesame oil, I'm using about one tablespoon here because it's got quite a strong flavour. About two tablespoons of Shaoxing wine. Incidentally, if you don't have any Shaoxing wine in your cupboard, you can substitute it with rice vinegar. Two tablespoons of soy sauce and then about two tablespoons of maple syrup or honey.
Give the ribs a good mix and let the mixture marinate for about two hours. After about two hours, the ribs will look something like this. We can then put the ribs into a baking tray and cover in tin foil. The secret to cooking tender ribs is to cook it low and slow. So we're going to cook it at a low temperature at about 120 degrees Celsius for about an hour. After an hour, take the ribs out of the oven and remove the tin foil covering. Turn up the oven temperature to 200 degrees Celsius and put the ribs back in there for about another 20 to 30 minutes. The rise in temperature will make the ribs nice and brown. When they're ready, they're going to come out of the oven looking all golden and delicious, and you're going to want to eat them straight away. You can either eat them straight from the tray or present them on a plate like I have done here. You can also pour on the sticky sauce from the tray over the ribs. Ribs should only be eaten using your hands and fingers. Please don't follow my example like in this video by using a knife and fork. I'm only doing this for demonstration purposes. Make these ribs for your friends and I guarantee that you will become even more popular than you already are. See you next time food lovers.